Alright guys, GF7 here, and welcome to another player review video. Today we have the Inform slash one to watch Gabbiadini. I have the one to watch Gabbiadini because I think he'll be getting some more upgrades. But obviously it's the one to watch. I put him in this team, it's more my weekend league style team, bit different. Um, he is on 7 chem just like Scott Sinclair. That is because I like Scott Sinclair, I don't want to take Scott Sinclair out. I'm not the best of fans of Martial and that is why Martial doesn't make it in the team. It's a decent all round looking Premier League team for the weekend league etc etc. I'm just going to show you a review of him and his card. He's not the quickest, and I'll show you his base stats now. Here is base stats. His base stats look quite nice, actually. 84 pace, 86 shooting, 83 dribbling, 76 physical, 76 passing. Very, very good all-rounded player. Um, obviously, not as quick as some people would like, which is why not he wouldn't be used as much as what some people would use other players. But I really think that he'd be a good player for me. And so I did decide to put him in the team, put him in the weekend league squad, and currently he is my main man in the weekend league squad up front, which is surprising considering I didn't think because I'm someone who do prefer do like to have some pace up the attack. But I think with the Mane and the Scott Sinclair in this one, but I do switch it around, it does look very very nice. Guys, okay, so now time to look at his in-game stats. You can see in the mental stats, the attacking position 83. You always, if you watch all my videos and my reviews, you'll know that attack position is something. Attack positioning, should I say, sorry, is something that's quite important, and attack positioning is something that he's got high, which proves a good striker. I mean, the pacey strikers just have a lower tag on position, and that sort of lets them down a bit. Um, physical stats 80 acceleration, 80 jumping, 84 reactions, 86 spin speed, 80 scrim. Although he's only got 84 pace, it's 86 sprint speed is a lot higher. His stamina is a lot less, but obviously his strength and his acceleration 80 do put it up a bit. Acceleration 80 is a bit sluggish considering Smallums is probably quite a lot more and you're going to be playing against Smallum quite a lot of the time. And in terms of steel stats, ball control 88. So it's get a ball to him, he'll control that very well. Curve 82, finishing 82, dribbling 84, free kick 86, heading out 84. 93 long shots, so hit some banging long shots with him if you can. Um, 91 shot power and 81 volleys. Very, very good all rounded player. Look, got to test out that shot power and them long shots. That's what really killed the goalkeeper on the opposite position. Anyways, let's get into the highlights. I did get with Gabbiadini. Just getting into his in game stats, he was a very good player. I mean, he he's complete opposite to Nacho, who I did do a review on. Um, check out my other video if you do want to see more of a pacier player. He's a lot different to him. A lot different. I mean, he's obviously not pure pace. He's not got a lot of speed to him, but he has got everything else in my opinion. He's got everything else to his game, and his pace wasn't that bad. I haven't put on that on the list because he isn't. In fact, um, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. I mean, it was an average pace, a decent pace to play with. So first up, we're finishing. Um, as you'll see, he does score some goals in this match. He's a fantastic finisher. Um, he'll put it in. To do with his shot power as well, shot power and the finishing go hand in hand in this one for him. He's absolutely incredible at that. His shooting and his power to beat the goalie was what really did give him the goals and what gives him the chance to score more goals when it comes to the in-game. The next up we have the dribbling. As much as I thought his dribbling would be pretty bad, weaving in and out of players, He's got close control dribbling and he c he doesn't lose the ball very often at all. He's got pretty good. He's pretty good at keeping hold of the ball and doing his dribbling. To my surprise, to be honest with you, because obviously a big player like that, you'd expect them to not be able to do too much on the ball, just more of a hoof it up and score the goals. Unlike say like Dybala, where it could be the complete opposite, and Dybala would in fact score goals instead of that. Um, next up is the strength. Strength. Um, you'd expect from him because he's a stronger, slower sort of player. Although he's got the 84 pace, but he's got 76 physical. You'd expect it to be higher than that, to be honest with you, for his physical. But that is, in fact, where his physical is. And his strength, he was able to push the defenders off the ball, able to beat one-on-ones to the challenge to get into the ball. Because a lot of um, attackers just won't do that. They won't be able to get to the ball. They won't be able to beat the other players into the ball. But he was very good at that. He was very good at shielding. Well, shielding's OP on this game anyway. So him with his strength as well, that allowed him to do even better shielding. And that is what his strengths are. Get it, strengths, pros. 
<laughs> I'll, I'll shout. Um, and goes on to the cons, we have a passing, first of all. It's passing, as you'll see in these clips, and you'll see in these highlights, they were very poor, just like Mane's as well. <laughs> Mane, who is an A7 rare player now, A6 when I was playing this? We might have been A7 as well when I was playing this, but... A7, A6 rated winger, you'd expect some decent passing, but that wasn't there for him either. But Gary Dean, you see, there's a few times where he could have slipped the ball in, he could have scored a goal, etc, etc, but... It was just different passing that let him down, stops him from scoring, stops him from getting, stops him from playing other people into scoring, breaks up play, and that can affect you. Obviously, 76 passing, it's not that bad, but it looks worse in game, especially when it comes to the more vital passes like the through balls that are made for the attackers to run on to his from his passes, which shows you he's more of a centralised false nine kind of player instead of. A straight up striker. And finally, we have the agility on a con. The agility he does, in fact, um, have a lack of simply because of who he is. Um, when you're a big bill like that, EA just don't let you be able to um, wiggle around, move in and out as easily. You can dribble on the ball in and out nice and easily, but if it's really close quarters in terms of agility, that's when it'll become a big problem for him, and that is when it is a big problem for him. And so, he does in fact have some decent pros, decent cons. Of course, he's got the three star weak foot, three star skill moves, which is a bit lacking as well. But I'd give him a seven out of ten. I'd definitely say he's usable in game because obviously he scored a hat trick in the weekend league, as you'll see in the highlights. And and he is just a decent all round player. But he's nothing incredible, as in. I'd say he's better than other players, but he's a very decent all-rounded attacker on the game. He does wrap up his hat-trick, as you see in this little clip here. He does wrap up his hat-trick to gain the match ball. And yeah, so I'd say he's usable. I'd definitely say you could use him, but most people would prefer their pace, and that's what he doesn't have. Anyway, guys, I've been Joe If you did enjoy, please leave a like rating, and if you're new around here, please subscribe. Anyway, I'll see you later. Goodbye.